Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Bobcat E26. I've actually got four mini excavators that we're selling this week. Um, I've got other machines around there. I've got a bunch of loaders and excavators that we're selling, Big, bigger machines. But um, if you buy any one of these tractors from me, uh, you're going to be dealing with Pro Provencio. He's the guy running the camera. He's my right-hand man. Um, what he says goes. So um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the mechanics of this particular clip, uh, this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and then we'll run it in the third. Uh, the serial number of this machine is... Um, B like boy 3321107. I'm gonna leave that last digit blank. Oh yeah, this is a G series. This is an E26 G series. So price on a new machine like this these days is about 55, 60 grand. Um, this unit currently has uh, 2,400 hours on it. Now the hours may. Uh, May accrue. 2410 is what it's got on it. Uh, we use it around the yard, so uh, as far as manufacturers go, Bobcat's ubiquitous out there. They're uh, one of the one of the largest uh, manufacturers of uh, uh, compact utility equipment. As far as the history of this unit goes, this is a Dallas, Texas machine. An original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it has, uh, it's got, it doesn't have any rust. We're uh, far enough south and we're 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. So, um, Before I buy a machine, I have a couple of my mechanics go out and inspect the machine. If they say everything's okay on it, then I have Pro Provencio go out and look at it. And if he says everything's okay on it and the money's right, then I go out and I look at it before I write a check. So these machines are three times vetted before we even buy one. We probably turn down probably 15 machines to every machine we purchase. I mean, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty discriminating in our buying practices. So as far as options go, you can see this machine's got auxiliary hydraulics. It's got a strike off blade. It's got rubber tracks. It's got an offset boom. Uh, it's got a pattern control uh, change valve. This one's got a 12 volt outlet right here. It's got a 12 volt outlet. Uh, as far as this uh, engine goes, this is a um, 24.8 uh, Kubota B1505. These Kubota engines are bulletproof engines. Caterpillar uses them, Komatsu uses them. That Komatsu's got a Kubota engine in it. Um, John Deere uses them. Uh, they're, they're just a very popular engine because they're bulletproof and uh, I mean they just run forever they never die great engines again it's a 24.8 horsepower this has got a uh, nine gallon tank which will run you anywhere from 12 to as many as 16 hours of operation all of the fluid levels on this tractor are where they should be this machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks on it anywhere. Everything works. Uh, top speed is 2.8 miles an hour. The undercarriage is about 85, 90%. Undercarriage is in really good shape. There's no leaks on the final drives. Final drives have got plenty of power to push a big load on that uh, dozer blade or to counter-rotate the tracks. 
all of the hydraulics are strong on this unit. There's very little deflection at all, if any. There's almost no deflection on that kingpin area. All of these pins and these bushings are relatively tight. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in the work equipment. As far as that bucket goes, this bucket is uh, 10 inches wide. It's 32 inches deep and it's 24 inches high from here down, 24 inches. It's about a 0.2 yard bucket. Uh, maximum dig depth on this machine is eight and a half feet. Maximum reach at ground level from these tracks right here is 15 feet. Maximum dig height is 15 feet. The breakout force on this machine is pretty impressive. It's 5,000 pounds and it'll lift 2,000 pounds at ground level up close to the cab of the machine. Uh, these shoes are, uh, these rubber shoes are um, 12 inches or rubber tracks are 12 inches wide. They're six uh, feet uh, long, six foot of track on the ground. Um, I think that's about it. What, what do you think, bro? It's a good running machine. It, it is, is a very good running machine. It's a, it's a great running machine. Side of the cab. Uh, this is auxiliary hydraulics. This is your uh, um, travel control for your uh, travel motors. Uh, this is your. These are your joysticks, obviously, to run the excavator. This is your blade control. Um, there's your, uh, your panel. That that means that the hydraulics are unlocked when the, when this is up. That goes off when it when you have it down that's just telling you that the uh, hydraulics are, are unlocked and ready to work here's your rpm uh, you got to have your seat belt on it doesn't work um, this is your seat it's in really good shape this tractor was really well taken care of 